God bless you. you. May be seated. You are welcome in Jesus' name. And I pray that the Almighty God will surely help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody help us, sister? I want to pray that the Lord Almighty who is here will continue to help all of us in Jesus' name. Now, I want us to open our Bibles quickly to Exodus chapter 10. Praise the name of the Lord. Exodus chapter 10. And we read from verse 1. Exodus chapter 10. Let's read from verse 1. Are we there? Are we there? Okay, let all of us read it together. We're going to go, one, two, go. Are we there now? Exodus chapter 10. We're going to read from verse 1. Exodus chapter 10 from verse 1. And today I'm going to be talking about the finger of God will fight my battles. Let me hear you say it again. The finger of God will fight my... Let me hear you say it the second time. Now let all the men say it out. Now let all the women say it. In the name of Jesus. Let's open our Bibles to that Exodus chapter 10 and let's read from verse 1. Let's go. Are we there now? Let's go now. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I may show this my signs before him, and that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son and of that of sons what thing I have wrought in Egypt and my signs which I have done amongst them that ye may know how that I am the Lord. And Moses and Aaron came unto Pharaoh and said unto Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go, that they might serve me. Else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow, we will bring the locusts into thy coasts, and they shall cover the face of the hurt, that one cannot be able to see the hurt, and they shall eat the residue of which that is escaped, which remaineth unto you from the hill, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field, and they shall fill thy houses. And the houses of all thy servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither thy father nor thy father's fathers have seen since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. And he turned himself and went out from Pharaoh. Verse 7 with a loud voice. And Pharaoh's servant said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare unto us? Let the men go, that they may serve the Lord thy God. Knowest thou that, that the Egypt is destroyed? And Moses and Aaron were brought again unto Pharaoh. And he said unto them, Go, serve the Lord your God. But who are they that shall go? Verse 9, let's read with a louder voice. With our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds, will we go. For we must hold a feast unto the Lord. And he said unto them, let the Lord be so with you, as I will let you go. And your little ones, look to it, for evil is before you. Not so, let's continue. Go now, ye that are men, and serve the Lord. For that ye did desire. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. Verse 12 with a louder voice. And eat every herb of the land. Even all that the hail had left. Verse 13. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. Verse 14 now. 
and rested in all the coast of Egypt. Very grievous were they. Before them, they were no such locust as they. Neither after them shall be such. Verse 15 now. Or in the herbs of the field through all the land of Egypt. Now let's read verse 16 and 17 with a louder voice. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste. And he said, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Now therefore forgive. I pray thee, my sin, only thine once, and entreat the Lord your God that he may take away from me this dead only. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to continue from verse 18 very soon. But beloved, the finger of God will fight your battles in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me say it again. The finger of God will fight your battles in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, the finger of God. The finger of God. I want us to jump to Exodus chapter 8. And let's see what happened here. Let's go to Exodus chapter 8 from verse 16 to 19. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 8. And let's see what happened here. Are we there? Exodus chapter 8, verse 16 to 19. Exodus chapter 8, verse 16 to 19. Let's read together. Are we ready? Want to go? Let's go. And the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod, smite the dust of the land, that it may become lies throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so, for Aaron stretched out his hands with his rod and smote the dust of the head, and it became lies in man and in beasts. And all the dust of the land became lies throughout the land of Egypt. 18 with a loud voice, and all the magicians did so with their enchantment to bring forth lies, but they could not. So they were lies upon man and upon beast. 19 with a louder voice. Then the magician said unto Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord has said. Lift your right hand to the heavens. Say finger of God. Confront my enemies. I can hear your voice. Aha. In the name of Jesus. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, there's some enemies and there's some situations that are stubborn. There's some enemies that are what I call over my dead body enemy. They do not listen to what you will say. They do not want to know what you are. They don't want to know the number of Bible passages you know in the Bible. They don't want to understand the number of warfare songs you can sing. They don't want to know the number of prayer points you can pray. All you need is the finger of God to arouse and address them. Now, if you were to confront such an enemy like Moses and Aaron, beloved, you will need the finger of God to do what? To arise for you. Why I'm talking about this is that some powers have decided that some people will not be let go. They have decided that this one is my captive. This one is my meat. I have been told to hold this one even before his father came to life. Hence, I'm going to hold this one captive. You will not be held captive in Jesus' name. I say you will not be held captive in Jesus' name. I say you will not be held captive in Jesus' name. The reason why I'm reading that Bible passage is for you to understand that Moses and Aaron confronted an over my dead body enemy. Although we all read these Bible passages in the Bible, we know about it. But if you look at the details there, you will discover that this was an enemy that says, I'm going, I'm not going to shift my position. So what it does is that it will shift its position today when you pray hard, when the Lord send locusts. 
he will now say, okay, sorry. Immediately they go again. He will say, no way. Those are the ones that give what I call deliverance minister headache. After you have done seven days fasting, 70 days fasting, they will clear away for some time. Then after a while, they will reappear again and say, yes, I have arrived. Maybe you have done 70 days fasting, I have given way for you. You have done seven days fasting, I have given way for you. They will now show face a second time. Lift your right hand again to the heavenlies. Say, powers of darkness! Assigned to confront me! I can't hear your voice! Aha! You are a liar! Die! In the name of Jesus! Aha! 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 In Jesus' name we pray! Now, beloved, the spirit of this Pharaoh still moves around now. People could die and their spirit could still live long time after. Error died, the spirit still moves around, isn't it? Even when we talk about Goliath, those that still move themselves around like Goliath, they're still around us, isn't it? Those that move themselves around like Judas, they're still around and among us. Those that move themselves around like Cain, the one that killed Abel, they still move around us. Beloved, people could die, but their spirit is still around us. The spirit of Pharaoh is still moving around. Still telling that you, the children of God, you will go nowhere. Children of God, you will get nothing from the ocean of life. It is a lie. It is what? A big lie. When the finger of God enters the equation, everybody must submit. The Bible says all powers in heaven and on earth belongs to what? Because the Bible even recognizes that there are other powers. That there are what? Other So it says all powers in heaven and on earth belongs to him. Whether it's a demonic power, satanic power, witchcraft power, they still belong to God. They will still have to surrender to the name of Jesus. They still have to surrender to the name of what? Jesus. Now, what I'm talking about is that when everything looks, oh, it, is, it has been closed. All roads are closed. It looks as if there's no other way to go. You need the finger of God to enter the equation. You need the finger of God to enter into the situation. You need to think of God to arise. And you will see that in that Exodus chapter 8, verse 16 to 19, you will discover that in that place, in that verse 18, Exodus chapter 8, verse 18, Exodus 8, verse 18, Exodus 8, verse 18. Let's read together. And the magician did so with their enchantments to bring forth lies, but they could not. So, there were lies upon man and upon beasts. Meaning that it was a stubborn enemy. He decided that, well, you guys have brought lies onto the people. My magician can do the same thing. Even though all their rods had been swallowed in the first place, when their snake turned to serpent, I mean, their, their rod turned to serpent in the palace of Pharaoh, they were still not convinced. They were adamant. They were like the Amalekites. They are vicious enemy. They are enemy that want to stab you at the back. They are enemy that says, well, we can see you. We know your weak point and we're going to deal with you. We know you're fasting. Let's leave you for now. After some time, we'll come and do what? Arouse you. They are enemies that are saying they're going to take no for an answer. They are not ready to take no. They are ready to follow you to the grave. They shall go to the grave in Jesus' name. Lift your right hand again to the heavens. Say, stop on enemies! Pursue me to the grave. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Aha. 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 Oh yes. In Jesus name we pray. Beloved. There were lots of plagues in that land. The first one was water turned to blood, isn't it? The second one, we saw that frogs entered the old place. The next one was the one I was talking about, which is the gland and the lies. The next one was flies in that land, making plague number four. Beloved, they were dealing with an over my dead body enemy. And the spirit of Pharaoh is still with us now. It's still what? 
with us now. Is still with us now. The fifth one was that they were dealing with the, the, the fifth plague was that all the livestock just got diseased, isn't it? The sixth one was there were boils everywhere. The seventh one was that there was thunder and hail. The eighth one was the one we talked about where they wanted the finger of God to fight, which is the locusts. The ninth one, darkness covered everywhere. Beloved, if somebody were to tell our queen tomorrow and says, let my people go, and the queen says, who are your people? It says, all the foreigners that are in this land, let them go. And the person just put darkness, and there was darkness in this country for three days. That person will be a superstar. Am I right? Because the CNN will carry it, Metro will carry it, whatever news will carry it. Am I correct? That would be a real mysterious man. And darkness came. It was until all the firstborn died, which was a tenth plague, before God and Pharaoh could now bow himself to God and say, okay, you guys can go. Even when they were released, what did they do? He pursued them. That was an over my dead body enemy. If you are dealing with such a power, beloved, and you are not standing firm, and you are not ready to deal with it very well, then you may get nothing. You may get what? Nothing. That spirit of Pharaoh is still with us now. Is still what with us what? Now. Is still with us now. And I will tell you that the only way is that the finger of God must what? Appear in your situation. The finger of God must do what? Appear in your situation situation. Irrespective of what is happening, irrespective of how nice they've been to you, irrespective of what they have done in your environment, if they have the spirit of Pharaoh in them and you are still meddling with them saying, well, let me go. I just want to go and serve my father. Let me go. And you're speaking English. Oh, and the raw power of God is not entering it. No way. No way. Beloved, Everything the enemy has collected from you, you will get it back in Jesus' name. I said you will get it back in Jesus' name. One of the things that we talked about this program is that we said there were going to be 10 things that God will do on this program. Number one, I said that those that are operating under invisible yokes, those yokes shall be broken completely. I said the yoke shall be broken completely. I said the yoke shall be broken completely. The second thing I said was that those that were having their finances that has had been in prison that all of a sudden the prison gate will open and your finances will be open in the name of jesus so therefore you will receive lots of money in the name of jesus the third category were those that i said that have been attacked in their dreams seven days a week they have been attacking their dream every day and it's out of the seven days maybe five days somebody is pursuing them somebody is chasing them somebody wants to attack them they have never had a victory in their dream. All of a sudden, you shall begin to have victory in Jesus' name. I say you shall begin to have victory. I say you shall begin to have victory. In the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand to the heaven and say, Powers of the night. Attack him in the dream. Die. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Jesus name they are dead the fourth category are those that have been monitored anywhere they go to or they have even been monitored they don't even understand they didn't tell anybody what they are doing but something is telling them someone is telling them I know what you're doing I know what you're going to do tomorrow I know your plans for December I know your plans for 2014 they've been monitored the fifth category are those that are facing what I call a stubborn Goliath a stubborn what just like we're talking about the spirit of Pharaoh here now. Someone go like that is their situation is getting stronger every day. Even after they do 70 days fast, they do some fasting, the situation looks as if it now gets stronger. Beloved, you need the finger of God to enter into that situation. And it will enter in Jesus' name. The sixth category are those that are thinking of taking their own lives. On a daily basis, we hear this that people are trying to take their own lives. Taking their own lives. They say they just don't understand. I just don't understand. Pastor, I'm just going to go to the 13th floor and jump down. Pastor, I'm just going to go to the bridge and just jump down. I'm just going to go to the highway and jump down. They just want to kill themselves because they feel life does not have any meaning. But by the grace of God, the Lord Almighty will restore your life in the name of Jesus and it will give you joy in Jesus' name. The seventh category are those that I said that they know that something has been stolen in their lives. 
They just know that they are not complete. Either in their head, in their body, in their stomach, something has been removed from there. There will be a restoration today in Jesus' name. I said there will be a restoration in Jesus' name. I said there will be a restoration in the name of Jesus. The eighth category are those who I said their marriage have been tormented day and night. The marriage has been screwed up. A lot of what I call the powers of the night have entered into the marriage. Or those that have said that, well, they've told you that you will not get married. They've said you can't get any married. What, who, who is going to look at you? Look at your face. How are you doing? Nobody's going to see you. Nobody's even going to say I to you. Beloved, I tell you that the Lord Almighty is in to do a miracle in your life in Jesus' name. I said the Lord is in to do a miracle in your life in Jesus' name. As many of you that are saying that you want to get married, you shall receive your own wedding gown. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. And I decree even on, on, the, on the night category, those are the ones that their health has been damaged by the powers of the night. What do I mean by that? In the hours of the night, they will either be feeding them with one food or giving them one drink in the night or they just begin to go in and out of hospital. The doctors do not understand what is happening to them. They've carried out series of tests. They've carried out series of whatever. They've carried, they've carried out several things upon them but they do not understand where it's coming from. All of a sudden, you shall receive your healing now in Jesus' name. I say you shall receive your healing in the name of Jesus. And the very last category are those whose blessings, miracles, breakthroughs have been delayed or captured. Now, everybody in Egypt at that time, they were just working for Pharaoh, isn't it? For nothing, correct? They were working for Pharaoh for what? For nothing. They, they were being delayed. They were being captured. The Lord want to take them to that place, to the promised land. But they were just there, working for Pharaoh and getting nothing there. Everyone that is here that your blessing has been delayed or been captured, just suddenly there will be a release in the name of Jesus. I say suddenly there will be a release. Suddenly there will be a release. In the name of Jesus. Everybody will shout loud and say, Oh God of Elijah. Let me hear your voice louder. Appear in my situations by fire in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Let the God of Elijah appear, appear in your situation, appear there, appear there. In Jesus' name, we pray. Beloved, the finger of God will arise and fight for you. And suddenly there will be victory in Jesus' name. Yeah. Beloved, after this 70 days program, you should be victorious, isn't it? Beloved, even if you don't understand what I'm saying, I decree that victory will be yours in Jesus' name. Yeah. On every side, you shall be victorious in Jesus' name. I say you shall be victorious in Jesus' name. I say you shall be victorious in Jesus' name. Now, we're talking about this finger of God. The finger of God needs to fight for you when there is what I call a stubborn opposition. When there is what? A stubborn? When they are saying they are not willing to, to change their own idea. They are not willing to consider anyone. They are, not reason to, they are not willing to listen to you. It is only the finger of God that needs to enter into that what? Situation. It is what? Only the finger of God that needs to what? Enter into the situation. When the situation is getting very difficult... The situation is not ready to change. The fact, the situation has defeated you. You need the finger of God to do what? Arise and move on your behalf. When things are just being difficult, or you cannot just cure the situation, or you can't just cure the disease, or you can't just remove it, the finger of God, when he enters it, there will be a solution. I said there will be a solution. I said there will be a solution. When there's a strong opposition against you, Everybody gathered and they said, you are the one that did it. You are the culprit. You are the one. And you know that you're not the one. When there's a strong opposition, all of a sudden, the finger of God is the one that can fight. And it will arise for your sake in Jesus' name. When there's a high resistance to change, you need the finger of God. A high resistance to what? To change. You need the finger of God to move there. When the problem has refused to die easily, you have commanded the problem to die, to die, to die, and it's not dead. 
then you need the finger of God to move in. You need the finger of God to move in. When the problems that are holding you, they've blocked you on every side. And they say, you cannot move forward. You go to the front, you say, no way. You go to the back, you meet them there. You go to the left, you meet them there. You go to the right, you meet them there. And they say, you are going nowhere. We are here to capture you. You will need what? The finger of God to enter into your life, pick you up, and take you out, and drop you in the right place. Lift your right hand again to the heavens. Say, oh, finger of God! I can hear your voice. Arise! Deliver me now! In the name of Jesus! Aha! 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. Hebrews chapter 29. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. Hebrews 12, 29. The Bible says, for our God is a consuming fire. Our God is what? A consuming fire. Because the only way is when the powers of darkness have said you go nowhere, you need to call upon fire. You need to call upon what? 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 When fire addresses your stubborn situation, oh, there's nothing anybody can do again. When fire begins to burn, there is nothing anyone can do again. All they will need to do is to watch the fire burning, isn't it? When fire comes in contact with anything, it will burn it and it will burn it to pieces. Especially if it has ingredient to burn. Once fire contacts anything, so long as there's something for burn, it will continue to what? To burn. Say, oh God of Elijah! Arise by fire! Fight my battles! In the name of Jesus! Aha! Aha! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! In Jesus' name we pray. Like I said again, fire is an agent of change. It is a judgmental thing. Now you've done the fasting, you're on fire now. I want you to, you are, uh, by the time we begin to pray, I want your body, your spirit and soul to move. Let the fire in you consume your stubborn problems. Let the fire in you arise and destroy all the powers of darkness that are saying that you will go nowhere. Any power that has delayed you for too long, it is time for you to move forward. It is time for you to do what? It is time for you to move forward in the name of Jesus. Now, let me tell you the thing. The enemy does not want you to understand many things. They don't want you to know that, well, they have any limitation. The devil has a limitation. He has what? He has what? He has a limitation. He also, you begin to make you feel like, well, they don't miscalculate. They miscalculate. They do what? Now that you are, today is your last day of fasting, I want you to use your opportunity now. Because they have miscalculated for them to allow you to even fast at all. They have what? Miscalculated for them to allow you to even fast at all. And I know that the Lord Almighty will strengthen you in Jesus' name. Now, the enemy wants you to think that, well, he can do everything at every time. No way. Tonight, today, you are going to decree and every decree of your mouth shall be established in Jesus' name. I know that you know that the devil cannot plead the blood of Jesus, isn't it? He can't plead the blood of Jesus. And you can plead the blood of Jesus. Because he can't say that. The devil cannot also be at everywhere at the same time. He can't be what? At everywhere at the same time. So you will need God Almighty to fight for you. Because you know that if he appears anywhere you are, of course, there's a lot of problems. But the question is that it can't be everywhere at the same time. So the finger of God will move on your behalf in Jesus' name. Because our God, we know that he's everywhere. Isn't it? His omnipresence. He can be anywhere at any time and he can do all that you need. The Lord Almighty will give you understanding in Jesus' name. Now, how do you fight back? Number one, what we're going to do is that number one, you must first recognize that the enemy has power. He has what? He has what? We're asking for the finger of God to fight for us because we could not fight the battle our... Because we could not fight it our... Because we could not fight our... So, we need to understand that one, the enemy has power. He has what? He has power. We don't teach you in Mountain of Fire that the enemy does not have power. We tell you that, look, the enemy has power, but all powers in heaven and on earth belongs to who? That's why the Bible said that. The Bible recognizes that there are powers, isn't it? Now it says all powers in heaven and on earth belongs to what? 
Because he knows that there are other small, small powers that move around and they have tormented people. In fact, some of them have caged lives from the womb to the grave. From what? The womb to the if they've successfully do that, they will tell you that we can do the same thing in your life. They will not do the same thing in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. I said they will not do the same thing in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. The second thing you need to understand, the principle you need to understand, that the God you serve is the ultimate. Is the what? Is the what? Listen. If you have an interview tomorrow, all you need is to decree today. That those that should come to you for the interview, if anybody that will fail you will come there, it should not come. It should not what? It should not what? Should not come. All you need to say. I remember in 2006, I said that. I said, let anyone that will say no to my interview not appear. <laughs> when I got to the interview, the man told me, he's the only one. Say, all the four guys, they didn't come. They didn't come. I don't know why they didn't come. And he was just looking at me. And he said, well, this and that. Do you want a cup of coffee? No. And he just said, can you start on Monday? Only one man deciding, isn't it? The one that will favor you will be the one that will appear in Jesus' name. Yeah. I said, will be the one that will appear. Beloved, we've had lots of testimonies, but I'm not here to tell you testimonies. I'm here to tell you that the God you serve is a God that answers by fire. Amen. All you need is his finger this morning. Is what? Finger. The finger of God. Irrespective of how long you have been there in that situation, irrespective of who have held you down, the finger of God can deliver you. Amen. Now, the third principle is for you to resist the power of the devil. To do what? Resist the power of what? The Bible says what? Resist the devil and he will what? Flee. He will go nowhere if you don't resist him. Tell somebody, he will go nowhere if you don't resist him. Say it a little louder. Let me hear now. Very good. And the fourth principle is that just rely 100% on the power of God. What did I say? Rely what? 100% on the what? Rely on that. Don't weaver. Either here or here. Don't shake. Don't shake. Let me give you an illustration. Moses has told a Pharaoh, let these guys go. Let them go. Let us go and serve our God. Now, the Lord says, just go out and stretch your rod. And locusts began, isn't it? Make an imagination. I went to the Queen of England. I went to Buckingham Palace. Queen of England, please, can you let these people go? And he says, no. And I just wave my stick. And locusts begin to move. And now, what happened? I went to my house. I slept. Easy. He had the confidence in God, isn't it? He was not the one doing it. He slept. Mm. The following morning, he said, go and call him, go and call him. Let him come again. Isn't it? Listen, that's what we're talking about. Have confidence that God will do what? Will destroy. Once you have that confidence, there's nothing that can happen. The Bible says it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God has not changed. Tell somebody God has not changed. Say it again louder now. So who has changed? It's you and I that have changed, isn't it? God has not changed. It's you and I. So what God did at that time, he can do again today. He can do what? He can do it again today. All you need is to call upon him. Ask for his finger to enter your situation. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes. I've given you some understanding. Let's close our eyes. And I want you to begin to speak to the Lord. The Lord, I need your finger today. I want you to touch every area of my life. Open your mouth and begin to speak to the Lord. The Lord, I need your finger in my situation. You know that situation. You know what God wants you to wants to give you. You know where you should be by now. You know the opportunities that God has lifted up unto you. You know what God has brought to you. You know what God has said he will give to you. But up till now, you have not gotten it. Let the finger of God. Let the finger of God enter into my situation. In Jesus' name we pray. While all eyes are closed, all heads are bowed. If you are yet to surrender your life to Christ, I want to pray for you specially. Your, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you have never surrendered your life to Christ, this is another opportunity for you to do so. I bring you the word of God today and I say, Lord, let the Lord God Almighty, let His power touch your life. The Bible says in Romans 6.23, Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death. 
But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. It says, behold, all things have become new. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 15, chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The Bible says, you have to go in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17. It says, and their sins and iniquity will I remember no more. I want to pray with you now. You want to ask the Lord to fight for you. You have been fighting yourself. You have been doing it yourself. But the finger of God can fight for you. The finger of God can deliver you. Only if you will surrender yourself to the Lord. If you have not surrendered yourself to the Lord, you have never given your life to Christ or you want to rededicate your life to Christ. I want to pray for you right now. Just put your right hand on your chest wherever you are and I'm going to pray for you. All eyes closed. Put your right hand on your chest and I'm going to pray for you. For the Bible says the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Bible says in John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I want to pray for you now. For those of us that want to surrender our life to Christ today. Before we start our prayers. Put your right hand on your chest as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children who are putting their right hands in their chests. They know you and they understand your word today. Daddy, I ask that your mighty hands will touch them in Jesus' name. Your power will flow into their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, as they have decided today to fight and they have decided to repent, Lord Jesus, appear in their situation in Jesus' name. Fight for them in the name of Jesus. Daddy, as they are putting their right hands on their chest, acknowledging you as their Savior. Daddy, Lord Almighty, I ask that you, Almighty, renew their lives in Jesus' name. Forgive them their sins in the name of Jesus. For your word also says that in Hebrews chapter 10, 17, it says, and their sins and iniquity will I remember no more. Father, do not remember their sins again in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. A louder amen. A louder amen. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you have said that short prayer with us, I want to believe that the Lord Almighty has written your name in the book of life. And the Lord Almighty will continue to keep you in Jesus' name. Let's stand to our prayer as we want to go into our prayers. And for those of us that are very strong, you can just uh, stand for some time and you can take your seats after, some, after a while. Everybody, let's stand to our feet as we want to go into our prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I know that the Lord God Almighty will strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Oh, yes. Arise. Let God. Hallelujah. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Oh, yes. Let God. Aha. Let go, let go, arise. Everybody will roar with fire to the King of Kings, the Lord of all, the one that answers prayers, the one that can do all things. He's the creator of the heavens and the head. Say, finger of God. Let me hear you loud and loud. Appear in my situation in the name of Jesus, finger of God. Aha, aha, aha. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Beloved, somebody needs to pray these prayers. 
You don't seem to understand what we're talking about. All eyes closed as you want to pray the prayer. Say, every demonic finger. Let me hear your voice. Contending with my star. I can't hear your voice. Aha. Die. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, continue, continue, continue. Don't be tired, don't be tired, don't be tired. Aha, 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 aha. Aha, aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. Continue, continue. Let that finger, demonic finger, da, 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 da. Yes, hold it, 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 hold it. Yes, 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 yes. Aha. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Let all eyes be closed. The power of God is moving here already. I say, you that power that is choking that sister, you that hand, that witchcraft hand choking that sister, I command it to wither by fire. Yeah. To wither by fire. Yeah. You cannot kill her. And so therefore I decree. You that finger. I command the thunder fire of God. To locate you by thunder. Yeah. To locate you by fire. Yeah. Lord we ask that the finger of God will deliver that your daughter in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Everybody will roar with fire. Say, invisible hands of darkness. Trouble in my life. I can't hear your voice. Aha. Uh -huh. Die. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 aha, aha, continue, continue. Aha. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now you will cry loud and clear. The Lord God Almighty needs to deliver you now. And I want all your prayers that you have started praying here. I want you to be very aggressive. Say, oh God, my father. Arise in your power. Deliver me now. Aha, 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 aha. Oh, yes. Aha, aha. Jesus name we pray. God of Elijah send on fire. 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 
Aha! Your hands, your hands. Oh yes, God of Elijah, send a fire. Yes, hit it, yes, hit it, 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 yes, 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 Jesus name we pray. Everybody will cry to the Almighty God say every yoke of darkness upon my life. Let me hear your voice again. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't hear your voice. Aha. Uh -huh. Break. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Yes. Yes, 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 who did, who did, who did, who did, who did, who did, yes, 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 aha, 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 continue, continue, break it. One of you will roar like thunder with fire is a prison of darkness that has captured my star. Let me hear you again. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't hear your voice. Aha. Uh -huh. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name, we pray. Deliver me, fire of the Holy Ghost. Deliver me, fire of the Holy Ghost. Deliver me. Deliver me, fire of the Holy Ghost. Deliver me. Aha, yes. Who did? Yes. Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Your hands. Aha. I can't hear your voice. Aha. Now. 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 Aha. Jesus name we pray. This prayer is for one person here and I want you to open your mouth and shout it loud and clear. Say poisons in my body. If somebody needs to pray this prayer loud and clear. I can't hear your voice. Assign to kill me. I can't hear you. Dry up. In the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to pray this prayer. Somebody needs to pray this prayer. Somebody needs to pray this prayer. Aha! 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 That is the power of God. That is the power. Yes, who did? Yes, who did? 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 Yes, yes, yes. Aha! 
Jesus name we pray. Say every sickness sponsored by witchcraft. Let me hear it again. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't hear your voice. Aha. Uh -huh. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Sponsored by witchcraft powers. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Stubborn problems in my life. Stop our problems in my life. Receive fire, die by fire. Stop our problems in my life. Let me hear you sing it. Yes, Lord, stop our problems in my life. Receive fire, die by fire. Oh, yes. Now receive fire, die by fire. Yes. 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 Aha. Yes. Receive fire. Aha. Yes. name we pray everybody will open your mouth and shout loud and clear say stop all problems attach to my breakthroughs let me hear you louder now aha i can't hear your voices aha die by fire in the name of jesus Fire, die by fire, die by fire. Aha, are you saying it? Are you saying it? Are you saying it? Are you saying it? Aha, aha, aha. Sit out, sit out. Aha, 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 aha. Lorda. Jesus name we pray. Say every power that says no way for me. Finger of God destroy them in the name of Jesus. Aha. Let the finger of the living God destroy them. Finger of God destroy them. Finger of God destroy them. Finger of God destroy them. Yes. Ut it. Ut it. Ut it. Ut it. Yes. 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 Let the finger Are you saying it? Are you saying it? Louder! Yes, 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 aha. In Jesus name we pray. All eyes closed. Somebody here, you need to come out of prison of darkness that prison must let you go I'm not going to allow you to go home that prison must let you go I said that prison must 
let you go. Now everybody, let's start to stand to our feet and get us some strength. Get us some strength. The Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. I know many of you have been fasting for the past seven days and I know the Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us open our mouth with fire. You want that prison to let you go. That prison must catch fire. It must be set ablaze. It must be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Make sure that you are free to pray. And the person beside you, you can't hit the person. If you can't hit the person, just change your location. Say, prison of darkness. Let me go. In the name of Jesus. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Yes, 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 yes. I can hear the voice. Are you saying it? Are you saying it? Are you saying it? Are you saying it? Aha! 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Anything which you say, like lie, it no go possible. Like lie, anything which you say, I can't hear your voice. Your hands, 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 yes, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every witchcraft bad luck. Let me hear your voice again. I can't hear your voice. God has locked me down. Break. Break it. 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 Yes. Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Aha. Open your mouth with fire. Aha. Aha. Jesus mighty name we pray. Holy Ghost break my yokes. Break my Holy Ghost break my yokes. Holy Ghost break my yokes. Holy Ghost break my yokes. Holy Ghost set me free. Holy Ghost break my yokes. Holy Ghost set me free. Break my yokes. Set me free. Break my yokes. Yes. is healing now. Let the healing hand of God. As many of you that are feeling that needs a touch of God for the Lord to heal you, just come to the front and stand in front of I want to pray for you. If you want the Lord to heal you now, Father, I decree to the life of this your children that are standing in front of you now. They want you to heal them, Lord Almighty, by the power in the name of Jesus. Your healing hands that is moving now, let it begin to move upon your children. Let it begin to move. 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 Healing power of God, move upon your people. Healing power of God, move upon your children. Healing power of God, move. 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 Power of God. In the name of Jesus, 
fall upon your children now. Yes, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I decree that the sicknesses that are sponsored by witchcraft, I command them to dry up, 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 to dry up by fire. Receive divine healing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive your healing, receive healing, receive healing, receive healing, receive healing, receive healing, receive it now. Stretch your two hands towards the altar, Father. I ask, let your mighty power, oh yes, your healing hand that is moving here, let it continue to move. Let it continue to move. Let it continue to move upon your children now. Yes, Lord. Daddy, I ask that your healing hands will touch them. Let your own finger touch them now. Thank you, Father Lord. Right where you are, just put those two hands upon your head. I pray for you a second time. Lazanda Kayaba Zeke Debush. Really Kayaba Zeke Debush. Don't remove the hand. Put it upon your head. Put those two hands upon your head. Don't remove it. The power of God is moving. Woo. Let the anointing in the name of Jesus, the name that is above all other names, move, 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 of God, in the name of Jesus, fall upon your children. Yes, let the healing hand of God begin to move now. Yes. Let the power of God begin to flow. Flow. That is the power. That is the power again. The power of God is moving again. Yes. Let the healing hand of God begin to flow from the altar. Right. Yes. From person to person. From person to person. Yes. From, yes. From the crown of your head. Yes, that is the power of God. That is the power of God. He's moving again. He's moving again. That is the power. Power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. 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 Move now. Aha. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let the fire of deliverance. Yes, let it begin to move upon this floor. Let the fire of deliverance begin to move upon the floor. Let the fire of deliverance move upon the floor. Fire of deliverance begin to move upon this floor now. Fire of God begin to move. Let the fire of God begin to move. Let it begin to burn upon this floor. Yes, every serpent. Yes, that is coming out. Oh yes, enter into fire. You that serpent, come out. Enter into fire. 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 Oh yes, Mali pose the bush. Power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. 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 Move upon your people. Raboko Zeke Bush. I increase the temperature of the fire now. Oh, yes. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we ask that every power. That spirit called sickness, sickness in the veins, in the blood, yes, in the stomach, in the liver, in the intestine. Oh, yes, every sickness that has no medical understanding, I decree, receive divine healing by fire, receive healing by fire, receive healing by fire, receive healing, receive healing, receive healing, receive healing, divine healing, receive healing, divine healing, receive your healing. Thank you, Father Lord. Father, one by one, everyone that is here, either they know or they do not know whatever sickness has accompanied them here. Lord, I ask, let the ground open and swallow the sickness up. And swallow the sickness. And swallow the sickness. And swallow the sickness. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. For in Jesus' name, we pray. A louder, amen.